Cheers, guys. Okay, so uh, here we are. Another uh, sample from the sample from the Dean's List. So today we're going to do uh, one of my very good brewtuber friends, Kevin Clements, sent me a uh, well. He sent me a beer that I've been I've been checking this thing out, waiting for the best time to drink this because uh, it's it's uh, it's right up my alley. I like chocolate. I like peanut butter. Put them together. You get his utter chaos milk stout. I can't tell you how excited I am to try this. Um, how can you go wrong? Peanut butter? Wow. Anyway, so I'm not going to screw around. I'm going to get right into this thing. So if you guys haven't uh, checked out Kevin's channel, I'll uh, throw a link to it at the bottom here. But he's a terrific guy. I met him in uh, Philadelphia back in October uh, last year. Uh, it's like I'd known the guy forever, you know, just one of the nicest guys you'll meet. Um, uh, and he really loves beer. <laughs> he really, really loves beer. Uh, he really gets into the hobby. I know he and his son, uh, you know, both brew individually or together. You know, he just got himself a grandfather and, and uh, he's been, uh, you know, checking out new technology and all that. Uh, he's got a triple tap keg like I do and, and, uh, you know, I don't know. He's just a really nice guy. He kind of puts himself out there in the community. I think he uh, does the uh, IT support or the, you know, he's, you know, setting the web together for the SJ Port Challenge, and he just he just does a lot of stuff for the for the community. And I just wanted to know that it, it really is appreciated and it doesn't go unnoticed. So anyway, that's enough said. Let's let's get into this. Oh, a little bit about this beer. I, I should have my glasses on. I, uh, but it's. Uh, I know he uses PB2, I think. Uh, if I'm wrong, please correct that, Kevin. Um, yeah, he really doesn't have a... He sent me an email about it that had to... It says, with peanut butter. I don't know. Maybe it's just regular peanut butter. I don't know. I don't know what the IBUs is. I don't know what the ABV is. I just know it's got peanut butter in it, so it's got to be good. The thing I love about stouts is you can just... Whoa. Oh god, I'm already getting the peanut butter. Oh my god, this is gonna be good. Okay. Let's do a little aroma here. Peanut butter. More peanut butter. And I'm also getting a little peanut butter. So this thing is heavy peanut butter. Um, Wow. Uh, you can see here the head is like huge. It's like almost two fingers. It's persistent. It's not going anywhere, which is kind of interesting for a stout. A lot of times stouts don't have a whole lot of uh, head retention on them. This one, this one really does. So, all right. Well, hey, cheers, guys. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and knock this out. Wow, this is really good. So up front, you know, a lot of stouts, you get the kind of the burnt coffee type, you know, uh, um, dark roasty, roasty kind of notes. You don't get that with this. Um, which leads me to believe he might have used that cold steeping technique that uh, Dan Desolates uh, clued me in about. Because I'm not getting that real heavy ascendancy on the back. Either that or he spars the hell out of it and kind of, you know, water down that, that, that bitterness. But yeah, this is beautiful. It's like a, you got the chocolate, you got the peanut butter, you got just enough of the kind of the dark taste to, to let you know it's there. And it really, it's almost like a milkshake. It's, man, this is really, really good. It's got a really good carbonation. It's almost kind of like drinking a beer chocolate shake. If I had to describe it. Very milky. Imagine he's got some, some lactose in here. Well, yeah, of course he does. It's a milk stout. Yeah. Mmm. Hey, so sorry about that. Got cut off. Uh, had a little bit. Had a little bit of a memory issue, so uh, had to do some deletions. But anyway, what I was trying to say was this beer is just a perfect sipping beer. It's nice, smooth, chocolatey. 
Uh, I don't think it's high ABV. Uh, I don't see an ABV on the label here, but um, it's 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 a perfect stout for me. I, I really like this. Uh, thank you so much, Kevin. It reminds me of uh, you know my wife was just down here a few minutes ago and. We were enjoying, we've got the, the Dean's Pub set up the way we wanted it. You know, she put a little woman's touch on it. we got a shelf up here she put, you know, put up and this little wine basket. You know, I wouldn't do stuff like that, but it looks really nice. But uh, one of the things we were talking about was uh, when we first met, it was, in a, it was in a pub. She had a pint of beer, I had a pint of beer, and we were sitting on a bar top like this just, you know, shooting the shit. And... Uh, we thought, hey, if, if our best times is spent over a pub and a, and a pint, why don't we just put one in our house? So we did that, and this would be a perfect beer to, you know, hang out and socialize to. And really good job, Kevin. Uh, again, Kevin's a wonderful guy. You're a good friend. You're a great brewer. Uh, awesome dude for the community. Really appreciate the send. I've got a cherry stout left uh, to try of yours, and, I, and based on this one, I can't wait to I can't wait to check it out. Thank you so much for the for the beer, Kevin. Uh, cheers, guys. Till next time.